All right. So uh, this is a Hinti 700, and I'm going to do a little video here. Hopefully, it works out. And how to remove the plastic, or also known as a Tupperware, from the the upper part of the bike. So today, I'm going to show you how to remove the glove box door, this upper cowling, and this middle cowling right down here. Uh, it's only a couple of fasteners that hold it on, but a lot of people, without having the advantage of seeing what the parts look like and how they attach, it's very difficult to sort of know how to, how to take these things off. So uh, I've got a couple pictures on my photo bucket site, but if a picture is worth a thousand words, then I suspect a video is worth a little bit more than that. So we're going to give this a shot and see how it works. So the first thing uh, I do is take the seat off. Once you've got the seat off, then what you want to do is you want to remove this, uh, this, this tank rubber here. So that's just held in with a couple of bosses. So you just pull that off. You can see that held in there. Just comes off. Pull off the other side. And we can put this away. All right, the next thing you want to do is I go ahead and remove this the door. The door is on a, on a hinge, obviously. And I don't know if you can see in there, but you can see where the hinge is. It's right in here. Can't really see with the lighting. But you open the door approximately here, and you pull back in this direction. So if I if I sort of move it around and pull, and then whoop, and off it comes. So here you can see on the back side of that hinge how it's open in a couple of sections here. So let me put this down over here. Edge here. This part of the hinge is open. You can see that little open spot right there. And so the objective is to, is to open this door until those hinge, those open slots, hit the flat spot of the, of the bar holding this on and it just pulls right up. So with that out of the way, we've got three fasteners that hold this top piece on. And we've got one fastener that holds this piece on. So the fastener that holds the middle cowl is right there. It's a little Phillips head screw. So you remove that. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Not dropping it. So there's that one. So it's just a small little Phillips head screwdriver. And then move this bars out of the way so I'm gonna get a better shot. And there are two. One here and one here. So just remove those. Alright, so here they are. Two pieces. That one and this one, you can see these are a little longer than the one that fit into the lower cow, the mid cow. So they're not too hard to keep to keep separated. Short one goes in the mid cow, which is this one right here, and the longer ones go up here. The last, well the second to last bolt. Is this guy right here? It's a five millimeter hex. So we'll do that. And here's that that one removed. A pretty long one. And the last is down here. Call me get my screwdriver so I can point it out to you. And right there. There's two of them. There's one for this side, and there's one over here for the other side. So that's an eight millimeter. So we just need to remove that. So I will do that. All right. And there's that one. Notice it has a little flat washer on it. So you want to make sure you uh, keep a hold of that while you're getting that out. It's a pretty long bolt. Now, before I get ahead of myself here, if you just need to take 
with this piece off. There's no reason to undo all of this up here. You just take this screw out and then this will come out. But I'm, since I'm taking both out, I'm going ahead and removing all the hardware first and then I go through and remove the body panel. But if you just need to look at your coolant level, which is behind this towel, just that single screw, and then what I'm about to do next is look how you remove this. So to remove this piece, and I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but we'll give it a shot. The first thing you do is pull this, grab your finger here, and just pull this back. And you hear that little pop there. And there's just a little grommet there, a little stud there that fits inside there. So you just want to pull that free. And then the next motion you want to do is you sort of want to pull this piece back this way. This piece wants to slide like this. There's a there's a little latch in here, and it and it's locked when it's pushed forward, and when you slide it back, it unlocks. So I'm just going to want to pull this piece back here. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Grab it up over here. See if I can coax it this back this way a little bit. much easier with one hand, with two hands rather. The piece is fairly flexible so I can grab down here and sort of pull this up and you can see those little latches right here. Or maybe you can't. Let's see if I can get the, the light focused here. So you can see one little latch there, another one right here. And so these, let me just sort of pull this thing out. It's pretty flexible and it comes out. So now you can see this latch. See how this little tab here, and this actually slides down into it like this. So it fits up in there and sort of locks in. So that's the important part. You need to be able to pull back on it, and then it'll come right out. There's another angle of it. There's the tab there. And this piece is out. Again, easier if you've got two hands. So there's your coolant tank, so you can look at your coolant level with basically removing the seat, that rubber cowl, and then that one bolt, and you can have access to that. The next piece is, is, is this top piece, and this is a little bit trickier. There's a, there's a tab that sticks, a little finger that sticks out like this on the tank, and there's a receiving part on the plastic like this. And so what you need to do is you need to take the plastic and then you have to pull it, you have to sort of pull it away from that tab and lift it up. So what I do is I sort of get this free just by pulling up, just by pulling up like that. And then I grab my fingers underneath here and I pull towards me and up. And now it's clear. And see if I can get in here. You can see the tab right here, how it's clear. So once that's clear, there's a piece of Velcro right about here. You sort of want to just pry up. It makes a loud noise, but it's not going to break anything. And now it's free. So now you just have to finagle this thing out. And off you go. Now you, you may notice that I've got, uh, I've got a Healy bar riser on this bike. So the handlebars on uh, are a little bit higher and further back than would be on a, on, a, on a standard riser for an NT, but uh, this comes out the same way regardless. So here is a good picture of that tab. There's a tab there. And then that tab receives, let me see if I can spin this around here into that, into this loop right here. And so it sort of fits in, so you see it slides in like that, it sort of slides in. So again, you want to pry it up and out over that tab and then you can sort of work your way free. That's all there is to it.